of flurries and <laughs> what was the what's the thing that's on everything? Uh, <laughs> it's like energetic rock. Like, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's got some influences from like punk and uh, I guess metal-ish, yeah. hard punk. Yeah, I don't know. It's Honestly, it's, 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 it's all over the map. Whenever somebody asks me, I just kind of say yeah. it's, I don't know, alternative. Just come and see a show and put, <laughs> yeah. a, and put a label on it yourself. I can like throw out vague terms, yeah. but you don't feel like it's just, yeah. yeah. Put a label on it yourself, come see a show, you know? Like almost three, uh, almost three, almost three, almost yeah, three years three. ago. Yeah, so. um, these two, Mike and James, were in a band uh, before this, and so are Natalie and I in a different band. So uh, James and I met, and then now that I need people in our band, they just quit theirs and joined ours, and yeah. start because I mean we're the first band off the hop but by the end people started to roll yeah. in and it was it was yeah. good they they seemed to be geared up they were so loud good. like after yeah. a song they were yeah. loud and like yeah, encouraged. Was... encouraging yeah I wanted I wanted to have more energy but it's just so, so hot it's so hot, <laughs> so hot yeah. yeah yeah but no I mean it could have been a lot worse today like there's no rain and there's this weird smoke from all the Fires, yeah, there could be no breeze. Yeah, but the, oh yeah, the breeze would fly in, and you would just be like, I'm gonna just stand here for a minute. I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold back, but I'm gonna cool off a bit. in mid-September, uh, and then the album will follow a few weeks later. We went out to uh, Vancouver to record it with uh, at Rain City Recorders with Jesse Gander. Uh, uh, Cody, shut up. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's done uh, White Lung, Japan Droids, Pack AD. Uh, he's done a lot of, a couple Winnipeg bands as well, like Dead Ranch did both their albums. Um, yeah, he's, he's got like over 400 credits to his name. Um, yeah, so we, we drove out to Vancouver specifically to do that. Uh, so we spent three days in the studio and got the, the whole EP done, which was an absolute blast. Um, and yeah, I think it was really nice not being in the city to do it. Of course. Yeah, we all uh, kind of like escape our personal vices and personal lives a little bit. And just sure. like, it was a vacation. Yeah, work was still getting done, you know?
This is easy. I got him touching my arm. Uh, Radiohead's Amnesiac. Uh, it's a slight variation off the album cover. It's got everything. It's got jazz. It's got rock. It's got electronica. All in all in eleven tracks. And one of the greatest piano ballads ever. So Amnesiac. That's an easy question for me. Done. Okay, I have a surprising one. I think people wouldn't expect this. Um, but Wilco's Yankee Hotel Foxtrot would definitely be my album. <laughs> Silverstein's Rescue, but the Deluxe Edition. Because it has 17 <laughs> tracks. The Deluxe Edition. The Deluxe. Uh, <laughs> Can I change mine to the Amnesiac Double Deluxe Edition? <laughs> the Double Deluxe. Uh, shit, I don't know. I might have to send you this in writing and you can just tag it in after. <laughs> you can subtitle it in. For a moment, I was like, what is any album? I like, couldn't think of like, <laughs> yeah. what album, and then I'm like, oh yeah. I'm like, my what tattoo! <laughs> <laughs> I love um, Alison Mossart from The Kills. It's really great. Uh, David Bowie. Those are like my four that I always like throw out there. But, uh, just not being boring influences yeah, me. Yeah, I, I, I think we all come from enough of a background of just watching and always listening to yeah. high energy bands. Yeah. You know, good bands like, are good, but yeah. fun bands are more fun, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs>